Hey, what's up everyone from Defects Gaming? Back again after one full month of, uh, you know, you know, I, 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 I sort of said that I would start uploading consistently. But, you know, things happen. I'm not gonna make excuses for that. But, yeah, January this, oh man, this first month was a very, very crazy month for me. So much going on. Going back to school, having everything set up. Oh, and by the way, this gameplay, like, I had like many gameplays in here. Just put them together, like, some fun moments. And this is one of the moments where, um, I had a kill confirmed game with, um, well, I joined in Bear's lobby, I think. And everyone on my team left for some reason. And it was only me versus, like, four people on their team, which is one of them is Bear. And, I think it's Gur and then two randoms. So I had a lot of fun killing Bear and then he, he had a lot of fun killing me. So I kind of put the moment together where I encounter Bear, where he kills me and where I kill him. So I thought that was pretty funny, that's why I kept it. So not really talking about the gameplay, there's going to be more sniping ones and uh, shotguns afterwards but I'll leave that for you to enjoy. Uh, main thing I want to talk about is um, what is coming up. So January thirtieth, January thirtieth. You know that is a big milestone for us. Oh, and watch this! This is a triple kill right here. One, two, three, and almost got the last guy too. That's so sad. And then, yeah, switch to UMP for my tryhard class. Take down bear. But yeah, January thirtieth. If, if, like, most people don't really know what this date is, but it's the day of Defects Gaming becoming official. Well, I sort of mark that as official because we start a YouTube channel on that date, and we are hosting a one night only event on that day, on that night, and anyone who watches can come. But mostly people who watch the videos from the clan, so it's really no point. <laughs> you can just go check the forums. So, okay, enough of uh, the event. We're gonna... Uh, actually, let's talk about the event. We're gonna do some private lobbies. We're gonna do some infected, we're gonna do some drop zone or something like that. We're gonna do some custom game modes, like protect the bear. And basically what that means is uh, each side is going to have one sort of bear, which is sort of like the juggernaut. And everyone on the team is trying to protect him. And the first team who kills the opponent's juggernaut or bear loses. So we got some uh, cool setup for that. And I hope everyone will have a great time. And I actually hope that lots of people come out to uh, participate. Because recently, there's really not a lot of um, people on Modern Warfare 3. It's really hard to pick up a full party now. And I don't know, maybe it's just schoolwork or like I said, January is a crazy month. But hopefully everything settles down, we can get some, uh, get some parties going. And we'll take it from there. And look at I just killed three guys with a 50 cal. And I think I think I get one more playing the objective. Yeah, and I already have my seven kill streak or or point streak. Yeah, this this map is um well not this map, but this game. Uh, it's really easy to get your kill streaks. And it's the sniper's map because lots of far range line of sight. So kind of moving on to like strategies and stuff, I have like for a certain show I have a lot of gameplays that show some tricks and tips, sort of like um, you guys know SND for dummies, a lot of strategies came from him like using the C4, the portable radar, the um, recon class but then I don't use the recon class anymore, like I kind of switched over to portable radar and that's why I don't really use um, flashes anymore. 
and instead of using quick draw, you can throw the flashes faster. I sort of moved into um, either using like assassin or flash shield. I, I actually really like flash shield. Like even okay, for example, like on the mission, on the search map dome. I mean not dome, mission. Oh my goodness. All right, so mission. You know everyone rushes to the uh, the center where the um, a bomb is, and then there's always that annoying car that's there if you're gonna head glitch the bomb but then if you have blast shield you can stay there and you won't die from it so every time I play on mission oh look at that oh, oh I thought it got quad oh maybe that was a later gameplay there's only one but yeah every time I play on mission I put on blast shield and on that map, there's a couple like good line of sights, good rushes routes that I really haven't seen on um, YouTube. So hopefully, I can compile that together and bring you guys some uh, some of my strategies, sort of like um, a tweak, I guess, or I don't know. It's not exact. Oh, look at this! It's like a quick no scope. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. All right, now now here's the shotgun thing, um, shotgun gameplay I was talking about. It it was a really crazy uh, beginning because um, it was a really good streak going on, and then I was dodging everything like crazy, and I don't know the team didn't really figure out I was there, so I mean, it was a lot of fun. So speaking of shotguns, that's what that's what we were doing last night. So Nick and I. We're trying out different shotguns, we tried out the um, KSG which sucked without damage because then we, o we only had it level 1, right? So it was hard to um, figure things out. It was it was hard because then you get hit markers all over. Oh, here's the part. We got 1, 2, <laughs> and then knife 3, and then switch over to shotgun, and then 2 guys coming in. I take up 1 and then miss this guy and then... Uh, <laughs> but yeah, last night we were having fun with a shotgun. KSG without damage really sucks. I don't know how people use it like to level it up. It's so hard and so frustrating. And then later we um, switched to the spaz, which was a lot better, man. A lot better. Like at least you could kill from like a shotgun range. Like a shotgun range. It's not crazy overpowered. Like the um, striker is where you could like spam it from far range and then move up closer. Cause then when you spam it far range, like not all the pellet hit, but then like at least one or two hit. And then as you move closer, like the spread becomes closer to the enemy. Oh, and look at this turn on shotgun. I slow mode it for you guys. Yeah, this was before when uh, theater mode actually worked. Like nowadays, if you cut your like if you edit your video through theater mode, you're screwed. Like you can't see it anymore, which sucked. So then I always have to like record the full game and then cut out parts from it now. So it makes my work a little bit harder, but you know, what can you do? Like freaking Modern Warfare 3 suck balls sometimes. So yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the uh, shotguns. So yeah, the Spaz was better than the KSG. Like, you can shoot at the same distance and you'll kill more with the Spaz than the KSG. Um, I'm not going to try leveling up the KSG to get damage, it's just too painful. But yeah, we were trying a lot of, trying out a lot of different guns. Like the Dragunov, spraying people down with that thing, it's like the RSAS, R-S-A-S-S. -S -S, but a little bit, un uh, like, not as good, because, I don't know, it's a little bit more wobbly, I guess. So recently I've been playing with uh, ZJ Mac. Uh, he's like a, uh, an ex DFX member that we still like sort of play with. And he sort of had his buddies, I think real life buddy friends, like play together. I think they started up a new clan. Uh, I think it's called Suck to Sucks. Or Sucks to Suck, or whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay, um, but yeah, I was playing a lot of search and destroy with them. I had like at least four people on at once, like in a party. Sometimes we would have six, and 
let me tell you, these guys play SND like only when they're on. So they have a lot of skills, a lot of techniques. And I've learned a couple of stuff. I'm uh, learning a lot from them too. But what I want to say is, uh, like DFX really needs to, you know, come together and play some SD. <laughs> Not for my sake, but then for the whole clan's sake. Because in Black Ops, we only played like SD pretty much, or SD and Dom. That's it. Or CTS. And SND was our was our game. So I wanna bring that sort of bond we had from Black Ops. Like that SND sort of motivation, sort of that A game back into uh, Modern Warfare 3. And one thing I wanna note is um ZJ Mac and his buddies all of are like or ZJ himself. He's like under 20k on the uh, SND ranks, which is amazing. And I'm like closely behind at 33, but it's probably because whenever I play with DFX, rarely play some search and destroy. It's really hard to rank up if you don't play. Not that I'm asking you guys to play SND with me all the time, but I'm hoping you guys can play some SND with me <laughs> so we can uh, get better, right? So. Other than SND, like CTF is our game type for Black Ops also. And what happened last night was, <clears throat> was we encountered a group of six party on the other team. And their leaderboard ranking was like two digits, three digits. Like all of them were under a thousand and then like the the lowest rank guy was like six hundred and twenty something or something like that. So then, we were waiting in the lobby, we were waiting for two more people to make it to our team, because we only had four. Uh, it consisted of Bear, me, Puppy, and Aces, and I'm not sure if you guys know him, but then I didn't really know him either. But, so yeah, we had four, and then Puppy was, like, I, I saw the leaderboard, and then Puppy was like, Dude, dude, no, no, let's back out, let's not play with them. But then I, I wanted to stay and see how good they were. So in the end we lost, it was um, we went to overtime and we lost, we won the first round, but we lost the second, we like, if it was uh, playing GBs or something or MLG we would have to play, like we would have lost to, actually no, what am I saying, because then we had two, two to one play, yeah, but yeah, like even though their rankings were so low, or so high, like we stood a good fight against them. Like, it wasn't easy for them to uh, get our flags. So, I don't know, maybe CDF is our um, A game in Modern Warfare 3. Because we really communicated well. We played really well. Uh, even though Puppy had a bad score. Uh, <laughs> even though I carried the team. Uh, just, just kidding. So, it was a really intense game. And then... It, there was a game after that and it was easy, it was so easy, we just 3 0 both rounds and yeah, it was not surprising. So we're near the end of the uh, video and this is the quad Nick, I slowed it down for you. So I want to talk about a new series that we're going to come out with, it's uh, we're going to do live, like Nick and I have new accounts, we're going to do live comms and you guys we get to choose what guns we use and we'll every episode will be like one game or two games and every episode uh, you guys get to choose what guns to use next and it's basically road to commander but then dual com with the two of us and then we'll just take one gameplay from um, one of our games and I don't know just put it up so I hope you guys enjoy this uh, commentary and gameplays and I hope you're interested in uh, watching the uh, new series that we're going to push out. So, I hope you guys have a great time at the event and see you guys there.